Hey you guys, I'm gonna do a like low production value kind of video walking you through how I, I make a juice. Um, I start by assembling my juicer, which is <laughs> sitting in the drying rack from the other day. Uh, I just got done teaching a yoga class and I gotta say like, it feels really good to be back in person. It feels really good to be teaching yoga back with other bodies in the room and people in the studio seeing their bodies, giving them adjustments, corrections. And I gotta say, just like being in their, being in their presence from an emotional point of view, from a, a physical point of view. So really kind of what this taps into is like, I'm really big on creating spaces where people can show up with their inner worlds as much as with their outer worlds. And this is a big part of like what Shauna and I are trying to cultivate in Journey to the Peak. This is a big part of like, I, I think I, how I try to hold space in general when I'm when I'm a leader in the space. And the thing is you guys, like we're all leaders of our lives. So like you have an influence over the spaces that you're in and depending to the degree of leadership that you're using to lead your life with, like what's the structure? What structure are you in? You can always keep refining that. Like what's the structure that's gonna be most supportive for you? Okay. Um, I tend to like to put my juices through this like fine mesh sieve. That might be my neuroticism. I don't know. Some people don't care. I'm gonna do celery, apple, kale. I think I have I have a little bit of um. I wish I had lemon. I wish I had ginger. That would make this a happier occasion for me. So part of this reason for the video is like. Just make the juice. Don't don't not make the juice if you don't have all the ingredients that you want. Just make the fucking juice. I've got this like wrinkly old piece of, of ginger. I imagine from like an Ayurvedic place or point of view, they would say that there's like, this is completely devoid of prana. Like there's no more life force in this. It, it's, it's all shriveled. See how it's like, it's left. It's the thing of like communing with living foods, you guys. They're so chock full of prana, vitality, energy. And it's a, just knowing that and having an awareness of that principle is reason enough to be drinking green juices. All right, so you don't have to have this fucking expensive juicer that I have. I just like, I'm impulsive and I I go trick, like get the nicest things even though I can't afford them. <laughs> Cause I think it has ROI in other domains. Probably gonna do one apple, like three pieces of celery, maybe four. And, um, and you can hear the train going by. It's, I live by a railroad crossing, which for me is indicative of synchronicity. It's kind of cool, like what's the crossroads you're facing at this stage in the game. So as you can see with this uh, juicer, I don't want the sticker to go in there. There it is. With this juicer, everything goes in the top like this, and it gets crunched down. And then there's another piece somewhere, this thing, that I use to... You can really get your anger out too on your juicer. Because look, it's like, look what's happening down there. Basically like a chewing process, which is exactly what they call this, like a slow masticating juicer. So it extracts more of the juice, more of the prana, more of the life force, the stuff that you want. Um, yeah. Anthony William of the medical medium is really behind this juicer. I like him. I don't agree with everything he says, but like, I like what he does. I like his principles, you know what I mean? Should I put the nasty gar the nasty ginger in? I'm gonna not. I think I'll get enough sweetness from the apple. Okay, well I gotta like shove all that in. That's gonna make it nice and dark green. So you guys, you can do this from a point of view of like just having fun too. You don't need to know all the specific like nutrients or ingredients, whatever. Like. Let it be intuitive. 
Let it be intuitive, let it be fun, and really receive, receive from the prana. So we're gonna have a juicing, juicing party, juicing challenge here. I want you to juice, 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 juice. And just see what happens. Feel what you feel, notice what you notice. Juicing is arguably doing the harder thing. And unless you, unless you have the money to go out and buy juice, like every day, it's a lot of fucking money, it adds up quick. You, you going to fucking juice generation or something and buying a juice every day, just for like a month, you could buy this juicer. And I know the juicer, it sounds expensive, 300 something dollars, but again, think about what you're paying at these places. And just keep attuning your mind more to this, like, what's return on investment? What's it costing and what's return on investment in the cost? All right? So I'm just kind of like, you're about to watch me get my thumb chopped off. Don't do that. Use this thing. I do dumb shit like that. I put a fork in a toaster the other day and someone caught me and they were like, don't, no, no, no. And I, I kind of just like bowed my head in shame and I was like, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. So we need celery now. Celery I find to be like a good base if you're doing green juicing. Um, I like, I rinse it off. You, you'll find that the dirt will kind of come out in the fine mesh sieve. We'll do like four or so stalks of celery and then we'll drink a little juice. So you can be doing this with me if you want. You can see it's all pretty informal. Let it be fun. There, you, you learn over time like how much you need of what. I'm gonna taste this too and see if I need to add anything. Like I might need another, um, there's the stuff coming out. That's like the poop, Anthony Williams says. <laughs> so he makes fun of people who like take this and bake it and stuff, which I have, I have friends who do that. I'm, and they're getting like, they get crackers and shit they can like dip their hummus in. But he, he has this whole gag where he like, he, it's poop and he pulls out a plate of like plastic poop and he pretends like he's eating it because he's suggesting that that's basically what people are doing when they're, they feel like they have to also consume this because you've extracted the medicine already. That's his whole point. The medicine is in the juice. You've extracted that part of it. So I need to move, I need to move that sieve around to get the liquid out. Every drop counts, you know what I mean? as much of the liquid as possible, as little of the pulp. Again, neuroticism. I could just be drinking this thing with the pulp. I kind of like it better without. I would I would make that a personal choice for you. So let's see what we did here. Let's see what we did. I slide that thing back under so it doesn't drip too much. And then here's my pulp. This is kind of what I was trying to get the juice out of. Okay. Um, just throw this in the sink for now. And I bet this guy will just be like a little shooter almost. Shuck. Nice deep green color. Oh, and I made a little bit more than the glass holds. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Extremely refreshing. As soon as it hits your tongue. This is the thing, I'm breaking my fast with this basically. And no, coffee doesn't count. <laughs> black coffee doesn't count. So I had a cup of black coffee this morning and it's now probably like 11 o'clock and I'm breaking my fast with a green juice. So uh, cheers, that's how easy a green juice can be. Uh, it can be messy. You can just use what you have in the house. And I guess last takeaway is like, a juicer may be a worthwhile investment for you. <laughs> Get a juicer and then we'll talk and I'll set you up on a good a good little system to start getting some, getting the prana flowing. All right, peace out.